What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today what we are going to be doing is reviewing the Remnant G Fuel flavor called Mud Tooth's Tonic and it is supposed to taste like peach iced tea. Now, if you guys are new to G Fuel, you might not know that we've already had a peach iced tea G Fuel flavor inspired by Lyric, and he also had a Halloween reskin a few years later. Now, this Halloween reskin actually tasted drastically different than the original version of peach iced tea. The original version of peach iced tea was more of a real peach, a real tea taste, and then the newest reskin or version of peach iced tea was more on like the candy peach and more maybe like a Lipton type iced tea tea taste. So I personally wasn't the biggest fan of the revamped version of peach iced tea and I am hoping that with the remnant flavor, G Fuel has went back to that original taste and formula of peach iced tea. That's what I'm hoping for in today's video. We're gonna find out what happened. Also, I wanna thank everybody for using code SHOCK recently. I really do appreciate it. And in terms of some information about this flavor, it's going to be coming out on the 13th of November. And I'm actually going to be doing a stream on the G Fuel website on the 13th at 3 p.m. Eastern time uh, to grant people early access to pick this flavor up if you are in the stream. So definitely make sure you guys join the early access stream for the peach iced tea flavor at 3 p.m. Eastern time on the 13th of November. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here it is. We got Remnant up there, Mud Tooth Tonic, G Fuel logo right at the top here. You've got Energy, Focus, Endurance, and Reaction. And we have the back here, and then we have this side as well. And then that's the top. And we have the bottom with a SKU code there. Now coming in to this collector's box, we have a shaker, we have a tub, and we also get a sticker here. So this looks like a cutout sticker and that's what it looks like. That's a pretty cool sticker. And then here is the shaker. So it's not a stainless steel shaker. It is a plastic G Fuel shaker but it's an all over print plastic G Fuel shaker. And this print actually looks for some reason a little bit more detailed than some of the others. Also, something to note, you can't feel this print at all on the shaker, um, so there's no like um, raised areas or anything like that. So there is the shaker. It is clear, but then you have that print there. You've got a gray, kind of a metallic gray top with a um, kind of like a blood red um, clothes top there. And then you've got kind of that same blood red insert uh, right there. Here is the tub, ladies and gentlemen. Remnant G Fuel Energy Formula Mud Tooth Tonic. And there you go. There's what we're here for. Peach iced tea, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. So the tub's pretty simple. Um, most of this collab is just images from in-game. There's not too much like unique art going on here that I'm noticing. Uh, it looks like the expiration date is 08 of 2026. If you guys would like to take a look at the ingredients label, it is right here. There we go. Now I'm gonna look at this reskinned tub of peach iced tea and see um, if the ingredients label looks about the same. Obvious, so the color is definitely different. Um, in the reskin, it was yellow and red. And in the new one, it is red then blue. So if you guys would like to take a look at the ingredients label yourself, here it is. Now, mostly the thing that you guys want to pay attention to here is going to be those other ingredients because those are really the only thing that's like unique because um, the rest of the label is basically the same so there is some of those other ingredients there if you guys want to take a look at that and then uh, comparing it to the original peach iced tea tub uh, the original peach iced tea actually had caramel powder in it and just red coloring the new one does not have caramel powder in it, so I don't know if that is a bad sign, maybe. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure if the caramel powder is something that really made peach iced tea taste how it tasted. I'm not sure. Because I'm pretty sure caramel powder is also actually used as a coloring in a lot of things. So that may not be associated to the flavor whatsoever. But anyways, guys, let's open up this mud tooth tonic tub and give it a smell here. All right, opening it up. And here we go. Let's tear this back. Okay, there is the color of the powder. It is mostly white. I would say there might be a slight grayish tint to it. But let's go ahead and give it a smell. I think it does smell different. Like this reskin has a much more of a strong peach smell. The newest one definitely smells different, guys. Like it's not, I'm not getting a strong tea or peach smell in it at all. And comparing it to the original tub here, they're just completely different. The original peach iced tea, definitely you notice like this, this strong tea smell and like caramel almost just smells kind of like robust or something. So it definitely um, is not quite the same in the smell. And the original peach iced tea also had like this dark, dark cement gray color to the powder. All right, guys, I have gotten my shaker with 16 ounces of water and a few ice cubes, of course. And we're gonna grab our scooper here, which uh, I am lucky today because it was just showing for me. Let's go ahead and get all of this compacted powder out of the scooper here. The problem is if I do this over my pants, my pants are gonna look uh, like I've been in a certain factory. So we're gonna take this top part off the scooper. You don't have to, I want to because I don't use that funnel part because that's meant for like, if you want to uh, have uh, something like uh, put it into a water bottle or something with a funnel, but I don't need that. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now that I kind of moved the powder around, I'm starting to get some more tea. What I'm happy about so far is I'm not getting a very strong, like, peach rings peach. And that's what I was worried about because uh, I really want like a, like kind of a peach mango peach in here. So I'm gonna get one scoop here of the peach iced tea flavor and put it in here. And we are gonna give this a mix for 30 seconds to a minute, probably about 30 seconds though. So. All right guys, so we've got peach iced tea all mixed up here. And something that I'm glad to report is there's a lot of foam going on here. And that is usually a sign that there is a good of amount of like natural tea flavoring in here rather than artificial. So, Let's go ahead, give it a smell and see what's going on here. I'm just, I want to get right into this. Here we go, guys. I think that smells, I think that smells close to real peach iced tea or the original peach iced tea. I think so. The smell of the powder and the smell of it mixed up is just very light. It's just not very strong at all. But anyways, guys, let's give this a go. Here we go, lads. Um, I just added like another 15% of a scoop because I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's quite strong enough for some reason. All right, let's go ahead and try it again now. Here we go. It needs a little bit more than a scoop um, because I don't know, it felt light that the first time I took a sip. But and now that I add another 15, 20% of a scoop, it's really starting to kind of taste like that OG peach iced tea. It's definitely, without a doubt, much better than this reskin of peach iced tea that we had uh, quite a few years ago. This is more, definitely more on like that real tea, real peach. It still does not hit as hard as the original peach iced tea did. I will let you guys know that right now. Now, before I go ahead and give this a ranking, let you guys know and everything like that, I'm gonna mix these other two versions of peach iced tea up and I really wanna get a direct comparison. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. I've got all the versions of peach iced tea that have ever come out. We've got the newest version here. We've got the original peach iced tea here. And then we've got the Halloween reskin for Lyrics, uh, the Lyrics 9 Live. So let's go ahead and try these two older ones here and see what we think. So first off, I'm gonna smell the original peach iced tea. And I just wanted to mention, um, both of these are just about expired, if not a few months expired. So a lot of the flavor is gonna be missing and some of the colors are gonna be incorrect. So just wanted to mention that. There's no clumping or anything going on in the tubs. So they are completely safe to drink. It's just some of that flavor or color might be faded a bit. So, okay, yeah. So right here is the Halloween Lyrics Nine Lives reskin and it is very, strong on the peach in the that in the smell there and it's kind of kind of like a peach rings peach close to the original there's really not much smell left of it but let's go ahead and try the original here that is really good definitely noticing some serious flavor degradation in the original peach iced tea. Like, it's just not 100% what I remember. I'd say it's 80% here. But one thing that I'm noticing with this original peach iced tea is you have that real peach flavor in there, but it's got a tartness to it. So if you guys have ever bit into a peach um, that is the correct ripeness, in my opinion, where it's sweet, but also tart, that is what the peach was in the original peach iced tea. And that's what really made me fall in love with it. Um, and then it also had a real uh, tea flavor. So here's the reskin, let's try this. What I am getting at right now is this reskin that we originally, all of us didn't really like, this has a lot of peach in it and it's not really the correct peach. I wouldn't say it's completely peach rings peach, but it's not original peach iced tea peach either. This, on the other hand, the newest version, the remnant one, is definitely more on that peach that we want. I don't think it's all the way to that correct peach, but I think it's much closer. And it also has more tea flavor in it as well. This is really difficult, guys. Um, I think that we are very, very close to that original peach iced tea, but we're still not 100% there. In my opinion, the newest peach iced tea um, formula, is, it's close to the original formula. And it's really hard because I don't, even my newest tub of peach iced tea, like the last month that they made it is basically expired at this point. So. I don't really have any fresh tubs of the original peach iced tea. So it's very hard comparing, um, but I think we are very close. If the original peach iced tea is a 10 out of 10, I would say this reskin of the lyrics is a, a four out of 10. And then I would say remnant is probably for me a eight out of 10. It's getting there to that original peach iced tea, but it's still not 100% there in my opinion. The peach is better, but I'm missing, I'm missing more flavor. I feel like the flavor profile isn't as strong. I want more tartness from that peach. Um, I think the tea flavor is basically there. I feel like I'm getting tea flavor, but I'm not getting tea feeling. So there's a certain feeling when you have tea, it's called tannins apparently. Um, and it's like that dry feeling that you get when you have tea. Um, I'm not getting as much as I used to get in the original peach iced tea. So it's getting there guys, but I don't think it is 100% to that original peach iced tea formula. Do I think this is worth picking up if you're somebody who loved peach iced tea? Absolutely, I definitely think this is worth picking up. And, and if you don't like it when you mix it up, add maybe another 20% or 25% of a scoop 
um, and I think that will really improve the flavor because like I said, I feel like the flavor is a little bit light. So in terms of my tier list, I decided I'm gonna put this in the really good category and I think I would drink it without a doubt over Shiny Splash and Wumpa Fruit and I definitely drink it over just peach rings and stuff like that. I don't, however, think it's like, in my opinion, I definitely like Spinal Fluid as a tea flavor better right now. And I think right now I also like Pog Juice better, Kamehameha and Electric Strike. And I even might like Nuka-Cola more right now. Um, so it's gonna go right below Nuka-Cola and really good. I just, I think it is, I think it's definitely a worthy pickup, but I don't think it's 100% there in terms of what we remember the original peach iced tea tasting like. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you guys for watching this review. Thank you for being here and thank you for using code SHOCK to pick up any of your G Fuel orders. But anyways, guys, peace out.